Hello world, it's Rational Pi. One of the one of my most favorite websites to use while learning how to program was what's called stackoverflow.com. And what it is, it's a if it's a very giant community where users can come and ask questions and almost instantaneously will an answer be provided by one of their many experts that are on this website. Um, I found a really good example of what we're doing in our Hello World series and that was basically to keep it simple. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the question was. Uh, it looks like um, I don't have the user's name on here but the question was there, there are some times when I really need to compare two cars or characters uh, and from what I know there is no function in C to compare two characters. Maybe I'm wrong and because of this I decided to write one of my own. The function is working fine but I'm not sure if it's also okay. Or there are some problems. I decided to ask you about this if my function is okay. Here's the problem. Uh, it sounds like there might be a little bit of a, a language barrier um, and there are many nationalities that are on this website. Uh, but basically what he's trying to say is he's trying to compare two characters and uh, see if they are essentially equal. Okay, so let's take a look at his code. So um, there was a couple things that I changed just for convenience sake. I added IO streams so I could use the system pause uh, function so that we could see the output of our code. Because if you don't have that, then it'll just pop up and then immediately go away. So let's see what, let's see what he's trying to do here. So he has uh, his main down here. He's created a, uh, two characters, first and second character. He went ahead and initialized them already instead of asking the user, and that's fine. And he went ahead and go ahead and um, have them both set as A. So we're expecting them both to match, correct? So it says if uh, chrcmp character compare, I'm assuming, uh, first car and second car is equal to zero. Uh, basically what it looks like is um, if the uh, character compared class returns a zero. We print, we have a match. Otherwise, there was no match found, and then it will print a second line. Uh, then we pause the uh, system so that we can see our output and return zero to end the program. So let's see what happens whenever they pass the two characters into character compare. So again, first and second are going to be A. So this constant character chr1 and chr2 are going to be a whenever we pass it through this first time. So we want to find an integer of the length of the character. Then we produce an array, it looks like here, uh, that uh, takes the, um, the character and has the slash zero, which means when what that does, it converts into a string data type. And then we're going to create the length of the first string and the length of the second string, which again, this should both be one since so it's just A. If the length of the first one is equal to one and the length of the second one is equal to one, which they should be, and if the string compare, okay, is equal to zero, that means that they are the same, then return zero. Otherwise, return one, which means no match. And remember down here, we're looking for a zero. This will return our zero that we're looking for. Otherwise, if the lengths are not equal, obviously they do not match and return one to say that they do not match. And also, if it has more than one, it's obviously not a character. So. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we run it. And the places where I put change are the places that I just added something. And that's what I'll do for any of these Stack Overflow type videos. So let's go ahead and run it. And since both of them are A, we have a match. Fantastic. And then press any key to continue. So let's go ahead and test it the other way. Let's go ahead and put a B for the second character. Okay. Run it. Build it. No match found. Awesome. That's exactly what we expected to do. Awesome. So it looks like everything is working the way it should. It's a bit basic and uh, it won't take uh, user inputs and there's still a lot of things that could be done with this but for what he's trying to do, uh, which apparently is just to learn how to compare uh, characters in C and C++, it looks like it's, it's doing its job. So let's go ahead and do the third case scenario where you have too many characters. Let's add an E at the end of uh, the second and let's run it. 
there was no match found. Uh, doesn't look like it caught that that second one with the length being too long. So that may be one place it needs to fix it. So let's go back to Stack Overflow and let's see what kind of answers that were provided. The number one answer is much like in our Hello World program, you want to try to make it simple. You want to set a character, set a second character, if A is equal to B and that double equal signs means a boolean equal to, then you print characters are equal. So <laughs> it and this is nothing to to laugh at in terms of this guy trying to write this program because if you don't know all of the different uh, simplistic things that are given to you, for example, using that double equals as a boolean equal operator for two uh, characters, then writing something like this may be the only option that you have uh, without actually learning how to use this other uh, method. So let's go ahead and copy this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our program. And we're just going to get rid of this whole entire character compare. And then we're just going to replace everything in main up into our system pause with what was suggested. And then we're going to run that and see if it does the same thing. So run, build. And there's any key to continue. I didn't, for, I didn't, uh, come up with anything because right now they're not equal. Character A was Y, character B was X. So let's see if we move that Y to X. Should now come up with car is equal. And it does, car is equal. And then I press any key to continue, it's just there and it automatically just comes right after what was printed. So the general idea here is to try to do some research, to try to make uh, the programs that you write as simple as possible because if you, he had a 31 line piece of code before and now we've got it down to 12 lines and that's even we could shorten that even more so always try to do as much research as you can know the uh, programming language that you're using uh, and always try to find easier ways to implement the code that you're trying to write so with that I'll end the video you guys have a great day